Welcome to From the Driver's Seat, the Avert podcast for all Avert drivers to keep up with news and information across our network. Make sure to subscribe on your preferred podcasting app to make sure you're notified as soon as every episode drops. And now, hosting From the Driver's Seat, Director of Driver Services, David Royals. Hey everybody, it's Dave Royals. Welcome to the podcast again. We've got a great guest this morning. We've got Randy Sartain from Mercedes. How you doing, Randy? Doing great. Thank you for having Good me. Good to see you. Glad to have you. Thank you. Good. And, uh, you know, we've had that account, for, I don't even know how many years now, but it's been a lot of years we've been on the Mercedes That's account, right. right? 96, I believe, is when it started. 96. That was the dedicated so, account. Right, right, right. Yeah, because Truckload, you know, had it before that. The dedi- That's when we, right. They ran Truckload Dedicated back 25 years ago, before even t- before that. I know I was here 25 years right. ago, and they were running it. So uh, Mercedes has been a good partner for Avery for a lot of years. Yeah, it? And definitely has. Yeah. Y'all got a y'all got a, a big organization really down there now with the Mercedes group down there. About how many folks y'all got? Right now we got going on about three hundred and ten drivers right now and we got twenty in leadership, so about three hundred and thirty total right now. Wow. I was down there I guess a couple of weeks ago and it was a lot of fun getting to talk to everybody it and was. seeing everything. We did a little cookout down there. Right. It, was, it was good, wasn't it? It was. I think everybody appreciated it. Definitely drivers appreciated and Got some gifts and you know, and the good food, so everybody was was excited for y'all to come down. Yeah, well, we enjoy coming down. You know, yeah. it's a, I'm always impressed when I come down about you know, obviously we've been doing Mercedes for a long time, but I'm impressed when I go down there and talk to the number of drivers that have been here for a long time. You've got a lot of senior drivers down there, don't you? Yeah, we do. We got several senior been there twenty plus. I mean, I'm not sure the the total count of twenty plus years. Uh, but we do have several. Uh, we got several in the leadership that've been there for several, you know, for 15, 18 years. So yeah, we're definitely drivers come. They like to stay, and you know, we we um, you know we that's what we want as right. an organization is you know for, for their experience and you know and uh, you know for growth like that, and that they can lead the the younger generation into what we expect as an favorite, you know, in our favorite culture, that kind of stuff. Right. Well, tell us a little bit. You know, what's your background, a little bit, Randy? Well, I come from the automotive field. I've been. I worked before, prior to Avery. I came. I, was, I worked for Delphi, so I was, I was the. We worked for Mercedes. So I've been dealing with Mercedes for twenty-two years now. Wow! So and all. So we, where I come from, I was in logistics and maintenance. And about five years ago, we lost our contract with uh, Mercedes. Delphi did and. Scott was Harris, the site manager at the time, was looking for uh, an OEM. Yeah, yeah, and uh, so he happened to reach out to my boss, and and just happened just was anybody interested? And next thing I know, I'm interviewing, and <laughs> so I've been in. I was OEM for the last five years at Avery, and in the last since November, I've become site manager. Yeah, and of course, I've been down there twice since you became site manager. Yes. You're doing a great job. I appreciate that. Uh, you know, it's got a good atmosphere. Uh, everybody does. So yeah, uh, well, that's all you know. Contestment to my drivers and, and my leadership team. I got a great team, you know, in front of me, and um, you know, we're just trying to get uh, back to the Avert way, making sure that uh, you know, I, like I told them when I come in, it's just taking doing the eye care message, making sure that you know how we talk to the driver, respecting the drivers, and making sure they understand that we do care because they put in many hours a week, twelve hour shifts. You know, you got your hot days, your cold days, your rainy days. You know, <laughs> you know, as drivers, you know, and we really do appreciate them. You know, do what they do and have a very experienced leadership team behind them, knowing you know, making sure that uh, what they do is. Um, doing it the correct way, and uh, and uh, so that's just what we're trying to get back to the favorite culture there. And a lot of that, you know, we talk about Mercedes and, and everything that the drivers do. It's vitally important that everything runs on time, isn't it? That is. It's, everything's just in time, and you know, mostly uh, if we don't have a if if we don't have a, a trailer there in time or whatever, I mean, we can shut the plant down. And so that's what we always tell the new drivers, look, it's, it, you run on a schedule, but you run on green light, red light. And basically it's up to you to make sure when it turns green, you got, you got to be watching for it and you got to leave. So if that trailer doesn't get to Mercedes in time, I guess we can be faulted for downtime and that downtime is very expensive. Right. You know, it, it, it can get up a thousand, it's a thousand dollars a minute. It can be and you know, 30 minutes is $30,000. So yeah. it, it, it can build really, really fast. So. It's very important, you know, that we do our job. Mercedes expects uh, us to be perfect, and you know, and that's what we try to give them. And 99% of the time, we are, and it's and it's good testament to our drivers and and our leadership team. And I, you know, and we, I think we do a great job there. And we've been doing it for years. 
uh, we're, in my opinion, we're experts, and I think that's, you know, and we're, we have uh, the experience that Mercedes knows that they can rely on us as, as able to, to make sure their freight gets there, make sure that we get there on time, that kind of, and have very limited, or if any, uh, mistakes throughout the day. Well, I know the group you have right now, they're on time all the time. They are. And, you know, and over the years, I think we've met the expectations of Mercedes, and that's why we're still there, right? That's correct. And uh, so we've done that for a lot of years, but yeah, it's a, it's a very intense place to work just because there is, it's just in time. You got to be there all the time. So it's, it, it's a, it's a balancing act, I guess, for you to make sure the drivers remain happy. That's correct. And enjoy what they do, but also deliver on time. Right. That's correct. Yeah. We try to, you know, just let them know from, you know, R plus and red thinking reward points, letting them know how we care, that kind of stuff, uh, you know, and then of course, when y'all come down, we do the dinners, you right. know, they enjoy the lunches and, uh, you know, and, and in between the times y'all come down, we always try to do some kind of, you know, dinner or lunch or something just to show hey, our appreciation, give them drinks in the winter. You know, in, yeah. in the summertime and snacks, that kind of stuff, just to show that, hey, you know, we're, we're, we're thinking about y'all. You know, we care about what you're doing. I know we know that without y'all, we can't get this done. Right. So, you know, so whatever we can do to help them is what we're trying to do. Well, a team atmosphere. I mean, that's really that's right. what you're looking for. That's you're looking right. for a team atmosphere. Everybody's got to pull together, help each other in order to make it work and right. make sure that we are delivering on time and everything. It's got to be like a team atmosphere, right? That's right. And basically, that was one of my... Challenges coming in is just I don't I don't like it to be day shift night shift I want it to be one team right and I told them all we do is day shift night shift comes and picks up where day shift left off we try to make each other successful and making sure that our number one goal is getting freight to Mercedes without any issues yeah and you know that's just the that's just what we do on a daily basis and communication is definitely a big key to what we're doing now because. Um, in the past, we really didn't have no way to communicate. When you got over 300 drivers, and you know our building's very not very big, <laughs> right? So you can't get all 300 now. You, you cannot. So you know. So what we've done is we are we've taken two days out of the week and uh, to the startup. We have a startup meeting now with try to get as many drivers as we can in on like on a Monday uh -huh. for both shifts, and then on a Tuesday. So that way, that gives the leadership opportunity to go over any kind of safety issues, kind of any kind of issues that's come up at Mercedes that we need to get the information out to. And also gives the drivers the the feedback that maybe they have questions or they want answers to that we can provide that. And if we can't do it then we'll definitely get back to them at you know, so that's definitely I think is open up a, a broader range of communication for our drivers and our leadership and they're bring this together together as one. So I think that's helped out a lot. Well, that's really what builds teamwork. That's right. Communication. That's you know, everybody knowing what's going on and what's expected that's and true. everything like that. That's what makes a team work. It's just, it's just like a football team. Somebody's right. got to call those signals, that's right? Exactly right. You're definitely right. <laughs> I think the bid routing is always a plus. It I think is. Drivers like that consistency. They know they're getting up in the morning. They know how long they're going to be working. They know where they're going. Exactly. Plus, it makes them more efficient, I think, if they're doing the, doing the right, doing that, th that same run every day, it right? Does. Yeah, it makes them experts in their runs and then, you know, and because they, I mean, honestly, some of our drivers, they know to the T about how many cars that they're building <laughs> and then how much product's on their truck. I mean, they, they're really that good. Really? You know, I'll talk to them. They were like, well, they're only, they ran 203 today. And, you know, and they say, well, you know, I really didn't have to go for my last run because I know they had enough product in, in the conveyor. They do the math and they do the calculations. So some of them were that, you know, they do that. Wow. So it's, it's pretty amazing what they do. You know, uh, looking at you know, looking at how we're dressed today. Of course, I've got red on. I know you've got gray. Gray, gray. I think gray's the color that everybody wears at Mercedes. Yeah, right? it is. It's a policy at Mercedes. It always has been that uh, first responders and safety are the only ones that can wear red. Right. So they want the. So the, I guess when Mercedes or I guess when Avery came in at Mercedes, that was the rule of thumb that they could only wear gray. Well, it's professionalism. It's what makes us look like professional that's drivers because right. we are professional drivers. That's, that's, that's right. what makes it's what makes us stand apart. It, it, it's just our favorite culture. It's, that's right. You know, it's so full for it. But yeah, you're right. When I'm when I'm down there, I notice the uniforms and everybody's in uniform. It, it, and it, it's always it always feels good when you're off site and you go somewhere and you look and you say, wow, everybody's in uniform, just like they are at a service center. You right. Know? So it's, it, it's a plus for everybody down there, I think. And uh, yeah, I think you've got a good culture going on down there, and that's a, that's a good thing. And yeah. the other thing I noticed, you know, as as Gary and I call, call some call all the drivers and talk to the new drivers, I noticed you know, 
Y'all do a very good job with referrals, it seems like. Yeah, we're really big on referrals. I mean, we, I mean, when we go to, when we started this hiring process for the new drivers for the upcoming uh, increase in production, uh, you know, we were, I, I've had drivers, they were coming to me right and left. Hey, can you check on this driver for me? You know, can yeah. you check on that? You know, I've got a <laughs> referral. I got this referral. And I was, I was keeping Kim pretty busy at corporate. You know, hey, tell me where this, you know. So, yeah, we do a great job of referrals. Uh, our leadership team does a great job of referrals. So that's something that we definitely take serious there. Well, that's a good job. I mean, and, you know, referrals always, you, you it's always better to have a referral than it is to just hire somebody that you didn't, didn't know. No. That's right. I think you have a better opportunity to get a referral. It's a better driver normally, right? You take ownership of that person. That's when I try to tell them, especially people on my leadership team and drivers, I say, look, if you refer them, hey, you make sure you go back and make sure they, you know, are doing uh, they don't need anything, make sure that, you know, there's something more that we can do for them. You know, it's just going back and making sure that they're, um, you know, happy uh, with Averett and making sure that there's something, if if we may have forgot to do or whatever, that we're, we can step up and do it. Well, your team's done a great job on referrals from what I've seen and noticed yep. that you, you, y'all, y'all make a lot of referrals. I think that's one thing, that, why your team's successful down there. Yeah, and, it is. Uh, I think I think that's a lot to do with it. but. A lot of support down there. It's really, really a great place to go. I enjoy coming down to Mercedes and spending time with y'all. It's, it's a lot of fun. So, yeah, looking forward to it in the future. But yeah, yeah. hey, I, you know, it's a great place. Uh, great team down there. It anything is. you want to leave the team with? Anything? Any, any last remarks? Maybe? No, just uh, you know, just want to just give everybody kudos on safety. I'd like to talk about safety just for a second. Yeah. Just let it know, you know, from uh, first quarter last year, from first quarter this year, we have pretty much made a sixty percent uh, wow. decrease in accidents. Uh, That's a huge. Fifty percent in injuries from this time last year. So, you know, just letting everybody know that you know we appreciate everybody being. Being safe, making uh, uh, something else that's come on that Mercedes really tight on, and that's also at the Avery Yards is making sure you have your safety vest on. Uh, we're very encouraged that, and also just you know just want to re reiterate, 50% of our our accidents at Mercedes is backing, right? And it's the doors, so just please make sure your doors are are closed. Uh, do, I always say do the 10 foot rule: back up 10 foot, stop, get out, make sure your doors are closed before you actually hit the dock. Because uh, that's, you know, all that is is just accident. That's, we cause damage to Mercedes, and that doesn't look good for Avery. Right. And uh, so I just want to, you know, just, just tell everybody thank you for the job they're doing for the safety standpoint. And, you know, we do a lot of moves at Mercedes. I don't think everybody knows, but we do over a 1,000 moves a day at Mercedes. Wow. So that's bringing that's the product amazing. in. And, you know, and then from, you know, we're over yard management there. We do over 1,700 moves a day. That's 1,700 times we back up. So... Yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot of opportunity for her. It is, but it's a testament that we, we have the great drivers, we have great leadership, and you know, before that, and it's very, and it's a great thing to show that, hey, we're going in the right direction with safety, we're going in the right direction with injury, and let's just keep it up for the second and re remainder of the year. Yeah, yeah and that, that, that's what helps us also, you know, you talk about safety and talk about the drivers and doing the right things. That's what's going to help us be there forever. Right. You know, as long as we're doing the right things, delivering on time, being safe, all those things go toward, and the professionalism, it all goes toward us helping maintain that contract and being there for a long time. That's right. So Definitely. That's the goal. That is. Well, Randy, we appreciate you. Thank you so that's much for coming up and sharing, sharing yes, with sir. us. Uh, great information. Enjoy it. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you for having me. You have a great day. You too. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you all for listening in. We'll see you out on the road. I appreciate everybody. Thank you.